Look at us! 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 Emotions are running high on Capitol Hill as protesters swarm Senator Joe Manchin after the Democrat announced he will vote yes for Brett Kavanaugh. The ambushing of lawmakers has been going on for days. Senator Orrin Hatch, another example. Don't you wave your hand at me. I wave my hand at you. When you grow up, I'll be When I grow up, we grow up. You Oh, I can't even hear. All right. Um, personally, That's the sound of democracy. You gotta admit that it's the sound of sound democracy. of a mob. I don't know. That it's the <laughs> sound of democracy. Here's what, here's what I think, and this you can correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. Wouldn't their energy be better spent on voter mobilization, on turning people out, on getting people to the polls instead of just screaming at senators? Well, you can do two things at one time. They're doing both. This is a people's filibuster. I haven't been there. A people's I, filibuster. Yeah, it's okay. a people's filibuster. They are out there commanding the stage. Uh, they are speaking truth to power. Okay. Uh, I don't know about truth, but they're definitely powerfully loud. Um, <laughs> is, this an, is this an organic movement well, just what, by me, people who are motivated to change America? Well, this was asked by a protester by someone over at another network, and we have some sound. Let's listen. <laughs> are you a paid professional? I work for a community organization. I work for a network of community organizations. Center for Popular Democracy that has received funding from liberal billionaire George Soros records show. They mention you, Anna Maria Archila, who confronted Flake as the group's co-executive director. Perhaps that is where the president is trying to draw this link? The, if, if the president wants to know whether I work for a social justice organization, the answer is yes. And I've, I've worked for a social justice organization since I was 23. All right, so perhaps not every person flooding the Capitol is a paid protester, but some high-profile ones are. And it is. But it is pretty true, Donna, that for the most part, when people are... The Democrats and Republicans are upset, but it seems like the Democrats have cornered the market on rudeness and, and, and anger. Ooh, where and have you been? You, I, don't, I don't remember the last time... I don't remember the last time Chuck Schumer ooh. was cornered by a group of angry Republicans. I mean, come on. I, I, I lived through not just the Obama years. Dana, I lived through the Bush years. I have lived through so the Clinton polite. years. <laughs> I've lived, so polite. No, what I'm saying... Dana, the anti-war protesters during oh, yeah. that period oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and yeah, the yeah, Clinton yeah. years. I mean, 20 years ago, I remember that, too. I, maybe I'm showing my age. I hope not. Gray still owe me something uh, out of that cup. But <laughs> let me just say this. This is democracy. This is people who are turning their rage, their anger, their but does passion. Decorum matter? But I hope does that decorum in 32 matter? days, 32 days, well, they need, yes, civility matters. Do, and don't, are we civility civility matters. But here's the audience, we, though, we, Greg. We, let me we ask Greg a question, though, for one thing. Matters. One thing. So there's two matters. audiences here. There's the senators who are getting attacked and getting well, they, people in their fine. face. And then there's people on television that are watching it. How do you think that plays? Can I throw to some piece of tape? Sure. That I, this, uh -oh. is a, this is my this favorite part. This has never part. been done before. This is my favorite part of the protest. Can we roll this? Voting on cloture. In 30 minutes. Meet me to the left. Need to the left. If you would like to go to an office, if you would like to go to an office, to spend time, spend time with your senator, with your senator, summon to vote, and summon to vote. Let's go watch the vote. Let's go watch the vote in offices that you wish to communicate with. In offices that you wish to communicate with. I am going to go to Heidi Heitkamp's office. I am going to go to Heidi Heitkamp's office. Why? She's on our side. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. That is one of, one of the wow. funniest things I've ever seen. But you have to understand, it's also kind of chilling. It's chilling to it me yes. to see a mob in action. That, to me, is not democracy. That's robotics. Yeah. Um, and, what, and, and so what I see mm. is I don't see a political divide. I don't see right versus left. What I see is a fear of the general population in facing a small mob of intimidating activists who seek to subvert our institutions. People don't want to get involved, don't want to be yelled at. So when they see a group coming after them, they, they freak out. That's what they're counting on. This is an, uh, uh, this is an intimidating machine. It's a small group. And so then you see, right. the, but then you see the media no. coverage of this. I love the media coverage. You got to right. hear it. They, they go, oh, let's look at these activists, right. young, old men, women. No, they're not. <laughs> they're the same type of people. They're elitist, 
overeducated, overcaffeinated, white majority leftists who, ha who only think one thought, and that is to destroy the system. They, they are organizers. And that's how that's you true. organize people. By repeating <laughs> that is racist. From the heart. It comes from the heart. I'm sorry, but that is called civic education. Uh, that's called that, the zombie that apocalypse. Is, that, <laughs> is, that is called civic education. Look, every time I've coordinated a town hall meeting in my life, including for a Republican, mm -hmm. New, New Gingrich. When did this start? After he... What, you the, the, that this robotic thing. When did that start? Well, this this has been part of organizing for the that for the history. When you I've never you, no seen no that. you inform people. You go here to do this. You go there to do this. But why do they have to right. repeat it like robots? Right, let me ask you a question. So, so do you, you give people instructions?